Hey there, it's Rory. Um, it's awkward, let me start over. Hey there, it's Rory. Uh, quick shout out to those of you coming from in-game streaming. Love you guys. And thank you to whoever is coming from Instagram. You guys are great as well. And welcome to anybody new. I'd like to tell you a story today. The other day, I watched this nature doc on Netflix and it featured a strange flower that I've recently become enthralled with. I personally would have called this plant the banana imposter, as you might be able to tell why. <laughs> um, actually though, it's the flower of the baobab tree, or the Adansonia za. Um, Adansonia the genus and za the species. So today, per usual, we are painting it. Um, I like to do that when I get interested in things. <laughs> so let me allow you to get to know this flower better. This unusual flower blooms off of the baobab tree native to Madagascar. These majestic trees live up to 4,000 years. 4,000 years! Oh my god. Um, sometimes reaching 100 feet tall and 40 feet in diameter. So that's about as long as your average shipping container. That's pretty freaking big. Um, pe people live in them sometimes. Um, it seems kind of strange that in such a dry place, trees would grow so damn big, but I guess that's what these guys are doing. They're just out here doing it. Um, and they're also succulents. Actually, they're the largest succulent in the world. They suck up tons of water in the rainy season to store throughout the year with their spongy bark, which of course increases their size. And then later on in the dry season, to prevent any unnecessary evaporation of water, they shed their leaves. So they've evolved with incredible intelligence. It's amazing. Because of this tree's ability to store so much water in an otherwise arid and dry environment, its ability to provide shelter, and the nutritious fruit it bears. It's actually a super fruit. It's become known as the tree of life in many African cultures. Now, all of these really impressive things aside, there's one really, really, really special thing about this tree, and it's the flower. Um, you guys already know. So it looks like a banana. It looks like a friggin' banana before it blooms. It really looks like you're gonna pluck it off and there's gonna be a damn banana inside, but instead, its bottom opens right up to reveal the beautiful, vivid red petals and pollen-covered stamens. The pollen is so abundant that it's irresistible to the nearby moths and they swing by and pollinate it until the mouse lemur who lives in the tree gobbles up the moths whole. <laughs> and then the mouse lemur goes on to lick the sweet petals of more flowers, thus pollinating them as well. So they're both pollinators. Um, and that's the end of this little story in a big world. I think it's super interesting um, just looking at it. Even if you don't know everything about why this tree is so special, it's magical to see that flower bloom. <laughs> it's magical to see a banana bloom into a flower, pretty much, is what happens. I'm just, I'm, uh, at a loss for words when I look at it. It's gorgeous. It's interesting. It's mysterious. It's all of, it's all of the good things. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning into this painting process. It was a blast. This has been a super fun project to work on. Um, and I hope you guys know something that you didn't before, and who knows, maybe you enjoy this little flower just as much as I do, um, but maybe not. <laughs> I am biased because of my vast love for bananas and this flower's similarity to them. Um, who knows. Thank you guys for staying till the end. Um, since you're here, maybe you'd like to support me. If you do want to do that, you can do so by clicking any of the links below. 
my Instagram, you can go follow me there, my Etsy, I have lots of prints available for sale, and originals as well. This one will be available on there shortly, if not already, so go check that out if you're interested. And then I do have a Patreon, if anybody's feeling generous in supporting my artistic journey. And last but not least, you can click the like button and leave a comment to start a conversation. Honestly, that would be most appreciated out of any of those. Like, It's just cool to hear from you guys. It's cool to hear what you think of my paintings. It's cool to start a conversation around them, and that's why I create. I want to talk about these things. I want to become informed. I want to learn in a deeper way. And I think we can only do that together. So, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>